Hi, I'm Annie McCarthy, and I'm a member of Our Lady of the Rosary Cathedral in San Bernardino, California. Today, we're reflecting on Saturday, the 13th week in Ordinary Time. Thank you for joining us on I Got Today. Today's Gospel finds the disciples of John the Baptist and the Pharisees grumbling to Jesus about why they do things differently regarding fasting. Since this is such a short Gospel, I'd like to share it with you. Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one patches an old cloak with a piece of unshrunken cloth, for its fullness pulls away from the cloak and the tear gets worse. People do not put new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the skins burst, the wine spills out, and the skins are ruined. Rather, they pour new wine into fresh wine skins, and both are preserved. Now, let's reflect on this reading. Jesus asks the wedding guests if the wedding guests can mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them. Of course not. We will celebrate and be joyous because the bridegroom is Jesus, and we have him with us always. He made sure of that. He gave us the Eucharist. He made sure we understood that we had the Holy Spirit always to guide and advise us. So we walk with Him in joy and happiness. Fasting is important in our lives as well. It has a place for us to do when we need to get close to Him. And we do that joyfully as well. He reminds us that the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them and they will fast. Do you remember the pandemic when we had to fast from the Eucharist then? Watching on TV is not the same as being with others worshiping and praising and receiving the body and blood, soul and divinity of our Lord. Do you remember how grateful and joyous we were when we were finally able to receive him again? Oh. The next statement he makes is about patching an old cloak with a piece of unshrunken cloth. When we need to patch an old coat, for example, we need a piece of material that is comparable to what is being repaired or the entire garment will be lost when it goes for cleaning since the materials are not the same. Lastly, he talks about putting new wine into new wineskins. New wine needs new wineskins. Ignoring this necessity will result in an explosion that will waste the new wine. Similarly, if we follow the new ways that Jesus represents, we cannot do so under the guise of old religious practices. We need to allow ourselves to be poured into new minds and bodies that have been shaped by our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus came to bring salvation to our world, to introduce something new, not to patch up something old. This is what salvation is all about. So, by doing this, Jesus doesn't destroy the laws and customs that were there before, but he fulfills them just as a mustard seed is fulfilled when it grows into a giant tree. There is a sense in which the mustard seed is gone, but its purpose is fulfilled in greatness. This gospel is all about change, the change that our Lord brings into our lives the minute we say, yes, my Lord, I am here to do your will. Pour me into your new wineskin. Let us pray. Holy God in heaven, from whom all eternal goodness flows, fill us with your divine word. Give us a taste in our mouths for praise, for honor, for worship, and to share this with the entire world. Teach us to use your word as a constant guide. 
We ask this in Jesus' precious name and covered by the blood of Christ. We ask, we thank you and praise you always.